Hey, 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 so this is my second video of my homemade aquaponics system. It's a simple um, constant height in fish tank, pump in some tank system with three grow beds here, which have some transplanted plants in them. I'll just go through the details now. Let's start at the fish tank. So this is approximately 20 gallons of water volume. It's got three goldfish in it. As you can see they're very excited. There's a little pump in it over there and two eight inch air stones. Water is quite clear, it's only been in there for a couple of days. This here is the overflow pipe to which the water is coming outside, dripping down to the grow beds. Now, what I've got issues with is that um, the fish keep swimming into this dam hole. Um, even today I found one stuck up there and just it couldn't get out. Its head was stuck in and it wasn't happy. I had to free it. I don't know how long it had been there. One fish has already died going into that overflow. I've tried putting foam into it, but it doesn't work because it slows down the flow and, um, you know, that doesn't work out for everything involved. So some input on that would be much appreciated. Uh, water comes out of the overflow, goes down into this little apparatus over here. There's a ball wa valve on uh, each one of the outlets so that um, we've got an equal flow of water coming into the grow beds. These are river rocks. No real size or grading to them. The bigger ones are on the bottom, the smaller ones are on top. And um, as you can see, uh, these are three bell siphons that I've got on top of them. The plants is a monisteria. This is a chili plant that uh, spent a day in a, in, a, in a grow bed that is locked in continuous flow, so it's not happy at all. Um, right now it's getting water. Yes, it's definitely getting water. Its roots are down there, but it lost all of its leaves yesterday. That saved it only these two today, and they don't seem very happy either. So let's hope for the best there. Cutting from my lemon tree, and another monisteria plant that looks well not bad, considering they've only been there a couple of days. Um, uh, then the water drips out of these and goes down to my sump tank. This is the pipe that takes the water up from the sump tank and here we have it dripping down you can see what those little foam inserts are there so that uh, if, if there any impurity or dirt does come through the grow bed then it does not hit the sump tank and is taken out of the system in a timely manner as you can see the water is nice and clear there as well and this is the tarp that I used to give it shade what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up on this roof uh, all the way along here and down this wall so as to stop the sun from coming in and bothering the fish. So thanks for watching and let me know what you think.